Maligned and mistreated, stray cats have few friends. More than 70% of all cats brought to shelters in the U.S. are killed, and a grassroots group of alley cat allies are working to save these friendless felines. I've always been an animal rights activist, and I've always rescued all my life. And somebody had to do it. Somebody had to speak out for the feral cats. Free-roaming feral cats are untamed and distrust humans. Many are abandoned pets that were forced to fend for themselves in the wild. They have their home established in a neighborhood or uh, behind a restaurant or in an area where chances are they're already being fed. Cats only congregate where there's a food source. They'll travel until they find it, and then they'll congregate together. We call that a colony. Attempts to remove cat colonies almost always fail. For the past 20 years, a way to manage feral cat colonies has been to trap the colonies and kill the cats. And they found that by doing this, that doesn't work. More cats move in. It's what's known as the vacuum effect. Since the trap and kill method of feral cat control is ineffective, animal rights groups developed a non-lethal alternative called trap, neuter, return, or TNR. You'll go into a colony situation and you will trap each of the cats, take them to a vet, have them sterilized, get their shots, have them tested, notch their ear, which is an international system for identifying a sterilized feral cat, and then the cats returned to the colony. We take out any adoptable cats and any kittens. So right there, we are cutting down on the number of feral cats being returned to the location where they were. If you turn just a little yep. bit here, so I can do his toenails. Hi, little man. Look at you, all dirty and full of fleas. We'll fix that. Yes. Mm, let's get a manicure here and a pedicure, huh? People think that we find cats and we trap, neuter, and release them just anywhere, and that's not the case. We find the colonies, and if we return cats, we return them to the colonies where we found them. Once the cats are returned, volunteer caregivers monitor the colony. In feral cat management, you manage the colony. That means that the animals are fed and watered every day. The caretaker looks at the animals, makes sure that there are no new animals that need to be trapped. They also make sure that the cats are in good health. Maintaining the health of the cats and the colony is key. The rate of leukemia and AIDS uh, is the same as house cats. Um, the rate of any other um, disease out there uh, is the same as any house cat. In terms of rabies, that's something that community organizations and health organizations and certainly the public are concerned about. Cats are not big carriers of rabies, especially in Florida. There hasn't been a case of rabies in a cat in Florida since the 50s. And the public is really safe with those cats out there. Since TNR is illegal in most of Florida and the U.S., an underground network of caregivers zealously guards the location of the colonies. It's illegal from the standpoint of, of that we have ordinances on the books in Collier County and in other counties all around the country because TNR is a relatively new concept. We all know government change is slow and it's just gonna take a long time for county government to be educated on a better alternative for the community and for the cats and something that would save the taxpayers money. Making TNR legal is the goal of the new Feral Cat Coalition, a grassroots alliance of rescue groups and other alley cat allies dedicated to protecting feral felines. The coalition is currently drafting a proposed ordinance that will make TNR legal in Collier County. If approved, the county will be the first in Southwest Florida to adopt this non-lethal method of animal control. For the most part, people are receptive to have the laws favorable for trap, neuter, return. Um, the no-kill movement is sweeping the nation and people don't want to see the animals euthanized. There's no reason for it if they can live happily where they were in a managed colony. I think that our biggest struggle is really going to be education for the public. I think there are a lot of misconceptions about feral cats. People in general feel that they're diseased, that they're out there starving to death, that they live a terrible, short, miserable life. None of that is true. 
These cats get great management and great attention and many times better care than some people take care of their house cats. TNR with the Feral Cat Coalition and with the volunteers that would be managing the colonies and be doing the actual trapping and sterilizing, they're all volunteers. There's no outlay to the taxpayer at all. You're not paying county employees to uh, go out and trap these cats and bring them into the county, which all costs money. Euthanizing them costs money. Processing them costs money. Uh, paying the landfill to bring the animals uh, to be dumped into the landfill costs money. And you know, you're talking in the county thousands and thousands and thousands of animals uh, that, are, that are being processed like that. Beyond the bottom line, non-lethal TNR offers a humane, an effective alternative to traditional animal control. We actually are living proof that TNR works because when we started trapping some six years ago, our first year we trapped 186 adults and over 300 kittens that were the offspring of, of the adults going around. Third year we were down into the 80s. Fourth year we were down into the 40s. And it kept going down to this year. And since the first of the year, we've only trapped one or two adult ferals. And the rest have all been fixed to the best of our knowledge. The ultimate goal, of course, would be to be zero. Uh, but it's not a realistic goal, because you're always going to get someone who has a domestic cat, like the 30 that we rescued, that aren't going to be fixed. Sterilization is key to the gradual decline of feral cat colonies. There are a great number of people who feed cats. They need to take it to the next step. They need to sterilize the cats. Like any grassroots movement, the success of TNR depends on volunteers, all working to protect friendless felines and to end the ineffective and inhumane cycle of trap and kill animal control. The feral cats stem from domesticated animals and they were never meant to be feral. They were never meant to be out in the woods. They were supposed to be somebody's pet. And because of irresponsible pet ownership, you have feral cat colonies. I'll be the first to admit that there really shouldn't be feral cat colonies. I don't want feral cat colonies. I think every cat should be home on somebody's pillow in the sun with a big dish of food and relaxing. But there are feral cat colonies. And this is one way where we can cut down on the feral cat colonies, cut down on the increase of feral cat colonies, and hopefully if an